Good evening, and welcome to the Person High School Senior Awards Program. Though we aren't able to meet in person this year, we appreciate you taking the time to celebrate our seniors by watching this video. During this program, we'll feature video clips of scholarship, sponsors announcing the recipients of various awards and acknowledgement of many of our enlisting students and more. We'll hope you'll take a moment to express your congratulations to the class of 2020 and this evening's scholarship and award recipients in the comment section below. Without further ado, here is the 2020 Person High School Senior Awards Program. The following students have been identified by Person High School faculty and staff members for outstanding academics, character, achievement, and community service. William Bailey. India Burton. Taylor Carter. Colton Fox. Christopher Lipscomb. Angel Puebla Esparza. Keith Thompson. Cameron Whitman. And Michaela Woods. Good evening, my name is Allison Fierce and I'm a counselor at Person High School. Today I will be presenting three scholarships. The Golden Leaf Scholarship was established by Golden Leaf to provide opportunities for students from rural, tobacco dependent and economically distressed North Carolina communities to attend college. The four-year scholarship is open to students from qualifying counties that are planning to attend a participating North Carolina college or university. This year, the foundation awarded 215 scholarships from an applicant pool of over 2,600 students. The recipients of the Golden Leaf Scholarship at Person High School is Christopher Lipscomb, and Courtney Gentry. The Golden Leaf Scholarship is one of the many tools Golden Leaf has to help fulfill the purpose of growing the rural economy. The foundation hopes that through this scholarship, Courtney and Christopher will be able to gain valuable knowledge and skills and come back to their hometown or another rural area to help our communities prosper. We need students like Chris and Courtney to help make our communities thrive. Congratulations from the Golden Leaf Board of Directors. The State Employees Credit Union People Helping People Scholarship was founded in 2005 to support SECU members in their pursuit of post-secondary education. The scholarship is valued at $10,000 total and is dispersed over the course of four years at a North Carolina public university. This year's People's Helping People Scholarship recipients are Ayana Thorpe, who will be attending North Carolina A&T State University. The second recipient is Cameron Whitman, who will be attending the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. Congratulations, Cameron and Ayana. Hi, I'm Lee Thomas with the Roxboro Kiwanis Club. I'm representing the scholarship committee today and would like to present several scholarships. The first scholarship is a $2,000 scholarship to Miss Courtney Gentry. Miss Gentry is receiving this scholarship to assist her with the cost of college for her and for her academics as a duly enrolled student with higher academic rigor. Courtney has shown leadership in and out of the classroom. Her passion and honor, with honors and with dance have earned her many awards. 
She also works as a gymnastic coach and a choreographer. She has participated in numerous community events through her dance in our community and to help other children who are suffering from life-changing illnesses through Duke Children's Hospital. Courtney will be seeking a degree in pre-med and public health. It is with great pleasure that we assist Courtney with her next chapter of her journey as she goes to college to further her education. Our next scholarship will be to William Bailey. William is receiving an academic scholarship for his outstanding passion for going up and beyond the regular course of study. William's concentration has been in AP and foreign language classes with much success. William has also been on many mission trips to help others in their time of need. William has shown leadership qualities throughout his service, but also through his work ethic. Holding down a job, an internship with My Life Matters, Mr. Bailey will seek a degree in aviation science this fall. It is with great pleasure to assist William on his next journey as he goes to college to further his education. Our next scholarship is what we call at our Kiwanis Club the Burke Scholarship in honor of a former teacher here at Person High. Uh, this is going to Ashlyn Jacquez. She will receive a thousand dollar scholarship to help with the cost of community college. Ashlyn has shown strong leadership skills within the classroom and various clubs and drill team. Her leadership abilities and personal motivation to succeed shows through with whatever the endeavor. It is with great pleasure we assist Ashlyn in her next chapter of her journey as she goes to Cape Fear Community College to further her education. Our next scholarship is presented to Matthew McCowan. We're presenting Matthew with a $1,000 scholarship to assist him in furthering his education in engineering. Matthew has shown strong leadership skills throughout his high school career. He has participated in DECA, Peer Group Connections as a co-leader, and a member of Key Club. Matthew has volunteered within his community through the National Honor Society. His ability to maintain a high GPA with honors and AP courses and having a part-time job shows Matthew's character. He has been described as one who desires to help others and, a kind, and, and kind spirited. His leadership abilities to mentor freshmen who may have a hard time with transitioning to high school setting, high school setting shows his potential and ability to work well, to work well with others. He has the desire to lead and serve. It is with great pleasure that we present Matthew this thousand dollar scholarship and wish him good luck in his future education. Our last scholarship today is presented to Cynthia Wood. We're assisting Cynthia with a $1,000 scholarship to further her education in the field of nursing at East Carolina University. Go Pirates. Cynthia has shown strong leadership skills throughout school and volunteer services. She has participated in the great summer camps, Key Club, and HOSA. In her community, she has participated in food, drive, food drives, community trash pickups, and with her church. She has worked to at both Food Lion and Palace Point as a responsible youth. She also excels in leadership, worth ethic, and positivity within the classroom. It is great pleasure, it is a great pleasure to assist Cynthia with her next chapter as she begins her journey to college this fall. Thank you. Hello, my name is Amanda Morrow and I'm the Executive Director of the Person County Education Foundation, a nonprofit organization dedicated to encouraging educational opportunities through community collaboration. This year, PCEF has established four new scholarships for graduating seniors. We are excited to be awarding 18 scholarships to Person County students totaling $58,000. Five of these scholarships are renewable for additional years. Thank you to our scholarship donors whose generosity creates the opportunity for students to fulfill their dreams. Not only are you investing in their education today, but you are expanding their options for success tomorrow. I am honored to acknowledge the achievements of our brilliant students who have made both Person High School and their parents proud. The Person County Education Foundation will be awarding 12 scholarships to high, Person High School graduates. Each scholarship is administered by PCEF and has a specific purpose and tailored criteria set by each individual donor. 
Our first award is the Person County Education Foundation Scholarship Fund. This scholarship fund is funded through donations from PCF supporters and awards scholarships to bright and talented high achieving individuals who demonstrate strong academic performance and dedicated community service. The following scholarship was supported by Carl and Connie Rogers who wish to assist deserving students in achieving their educational goals. The recipient of the PCEF scholarship fund supported by Carl and Connie Rogers will be attending East Carolina University where she will major in public health. The 2020 recipient of this $1,000 scholarship is Courtney Gentry. Congratulations Courtney. The Victoria Jalisa Bratcher Daniel Memorial Scholarship was established in 2019 by Victoria's co-workers at Orange County Child Support Services to honor Victoria's memory and to celebrate her commitment to youth and her community. Additional contributions were received from family and friends to establish an endowment fund. Thank you to all that have donated. This $500 scholarship is awarded based on good moral character, academics, community service, and leadership. This year's, winners, this year's winner will be attending Victoria's alma mater, Elizabeth City University, and pursuing a double major in aviation science and Spanish. The 2020 Victoria Jalisa Bratcher Daniel Memorial Scholarship recipient is William Bailey. Congratulations, William. The Sanford Sandy Bearcliff Moore Scholarship was established in 2016 by Mr. Alan Martin to honor his friend's memory and to assist students who desire to attend college upon high school graduation. This year, two scholarships will be awarded to students demonstrating and displaying high degrees of dedication and perseverance. The first recipient will be attending Western Carolina University to study electrical engineering. The winner of this $500 Sandy Moore Scholarship is Tony Ellis. Congratulations, Tony. The next recipient of the Sandy Moore Scholarship will be attending Liberty University in the fall to study business administration and youth ministry. The winner of this $500 scholarship is Colton Fox. Congratulations, Colton. The Merle S. and Jean H. Solomon Scholarship Endowment was established in 1994 to assist students entering a trade, vocational, or technical program of study. This year's recipient will be attending PCC to pursue welding. The winner of the $1,500 Renewable Solomon Scholarship is Colby Sanders. Congratulations, Colby. The Reverend L.G. and Rosa Harris Elliott Scholarship Fund was established in 2018 to honor the memory of Reverend L.G. Elliott and Rosa Harris and to honor Bobby Harris, all who believed in the importance of education. This recipient of this $1,000 scholarship will be attending the University of North Carolina Chapel Hill to study psychology and education. The 2020 recipient of the Reverend L.G. and Rosa Harris Elliott Scholarship goes to Cameron Whitman. Congratulations, Cameron. In 2012, Renee Morton established the Sarah Elizabeth Morton Teach in Person Scholarship in memory of her daughter. A 1999 graduate of Person High School Sarah received her bachelor's degree from UNC Wilmington in 2003 and six years later received her national board certification as well as her master's degree from East Carolina University. Sarah taught eighth grade social studies at Southern Middle School for six years where she also advised student council and yearbook staffs. 
In May 2010, Sarah lost her battle to ovarian cancer. This scholarship endowment, along with monies donated by Person County Schools employees and Movement for Morton fundraisers, offers a $1,000 scholarship to graduate in Person High School seniors majoring in education. Congratulations to Jeanette Bayo Mejia. The Person County Education Foundation Spirit Award honors a student who exhibits strength of character, a caring heart for others, and a potential for becoming a productive citizen in the future. The Spirit Scholarship is funded by Lee and Carolyn Woodall and provides the recipient with a $500 award for the first year of post high school study. This year's recipient will attend North Carolina Central University in the fall to, to study nursing. Congratulations, Michaela Woods. The Dr. Thomas D. and Leela C. Long Scholarship was established in 2017 to assist students who are pursuing post-secondary education. This renewable scholarship is awarded based on evidence of academic excellence, leadership, and volunteerism. This year's winner will be attending Wake Forest University to study political science and international relations. Congratulations to the 2020 recipient, Melissa Carver. The Dr. Williamson B. Strom and Faye Young Strom Scholarship was established by Dr. Williamson B. Strom and Faye Young Strom in 2019 to provide two scholarships for deserving students graduating from Person High School who plan to attend a private or public university, community college, or recognized trade school. The scholarship provides recipients with a $5,000 per year award to attend a public university or a $2,500 per year award to attend a community college or recognized trade school. Each scholarship is renewable for one additional year provided the appropriate benchmarks are reached. The first recipient of the Strum Scholarship will be attending Winston-Salem State University in the fall to pursue nursing. The winner of this $5,000 renewable scholarship is Ashley Suddeth. Congratulations, Ashley. The second recipient of the $5,000 Renewable Scholarship will be attending East Carolina University in the fall to, to study biochemistry. Congratulations to Caleb Cook. The last scholarship the Person County Education Foundation will announce today is the Dave and Ann Hodge Access Scholarship. This scholarship was established in 2018 by Carl Rogers to honor the memory of his Helena High School coach, Dave Hodge, and honoring his wife, Ann Hodge. The Hodge Access Scholarship provides recipients with a $5,000 award for the first year of college and is renewable for three additional years. Each recipient of the Dave and Ann Hodge Access Scholarship will become a member of the Elite ECU Access Scholars Program, which provides students with additional resources and benefits. This year's recipient will be attending East Carolina University in the fall to study clinical laboratory science. The winner of this $5,000 renewable scholarship is Scholar Morris. Congratulations, Scholar. Congratulations, class of 2020. Best of luck, be safe, and know your Person County community will be cheering you on from afar. Hi, I'm Gail P., president of the Roxboro Women's Club. We want to congratulate all the 2020 Person High School graduates. Um, we hope you have the best life and remember Person High School as a great place and fond memories. I'm here today to present the Sandra Scott Bratcher Fine Arts Award for the Roxboro Women's Club. 
in instrumental music. The recipient of that is Jeanette Bailo Mejia. For the Sandra Scott Bratcher Fine Arts Award for Roxborough Women's Club in vocal music, the recipient is Stella Fuller. For the Sandra Scott Bratcher Fine Arts Award for Roxborough Women's Club in visual arts, the recipient is Brian Rivas Pineda. For the Sandra Scott Bratcher Fine Arts Award for Roxborough Women's Club in dance, the recipient is Courtney Gentry. For the Sandra Scott Bratcher Fine Arts Award for Roxborough Women's Club in drama, the recipient is Caleb Long. For the Roxborough Women's Club, Sally Southhouse Cotton Scholarship, our recipient this year is Christopher Lipscomb. The Roxborough Women's Club Academic Scholarship for this year, our recipient is Will Bailey. Good morning, my name is Cassandra Gilbert and I am representing the Lewis Eddy Winstead Foundation. And so we were started in 2017 in helping support student athletes who are pursuing a career in STEM. So if they are following any kind of science, mathematics, engineering, and technology. And so I have the pleasure of um, awarding today Ashley Sutta and she is our 11th recipient and so she will receive a $1,000 scholarship uh, from the Lewis Eddy Winstead Memorial Foundation. Thank you. I'm Margaret Bratcher and I'm here today to uh, award scholarships from the class of 1965. Our class established a scholarship for a five-year project and this is our fifth year therefore the last year that we will be awarding scholarships to students in Person County. Our committee worked very hard to look over some extremely strong applications this year and had a very difficult time making some decisions to bring it down to four awards for Person High School. But all of these candidates were strong, all of these candidates have uh, indicators that they're going to be successful and we are very, very proud of them. Uh, to have graduated from Parson High School and have a, a promising future in front of them. Our first scholarship goes to uh, a young man who intends to study aviation science and Spanish. He has concentrated on AP courses and foreign language courses as he has been a high school student and he is also president of the National Honor Society. That person is William Joshua Bailey, Jr. Our second award goes to a young woman who intends to, to study political science and pre-law at Wake Forest University. I've had a personal conversation with this student many times, at least one time anyway, and found her to be just almost magnetic to talk to. Uh, she has a lot of things on her play to uh, achieve in her lifetime, and I have every confidence that she will do that. This award goes to Melissa Carver. The third scholarship goes to a young woman who said, wants to study pre-med and public health at East Carolina University. She has been dual enrolled at PCC and has made the president's list for fall semester. She too is an outstanding candidate. 
This award goes to Courtney Page Gentry. Our fourth award goes to a young woman who would like to study social work. She's been a teen court camp, camp captain, a battalion commander for the Person High School JROTC, and, and likes to go by the motto, don't count me out, count me in. This award goes to Courtney Paler. Congratulations to all of these students. As principal of Person High School, and as uh, a student council advisor for many, many years of my career. I worked with young people who desired to be leaders in their school and many have gone on to be leaders in their community. I'm very proud of their leadership abilities. When I retired as principal at Person High School, I established a leadership scholarship for those students in order to help them find their way to other opportunities of leadership. My committee that studied these this year did have a difficult time because every applicant was a leader in their own way. We did make a decision that was very hard to make uh, and we could not come to one winner. So we have split the scholarship in half and we have two winners for the leadership award for Parson High School this year. The first one goes to a young woman who is a National Honor Society officer and she has uh, been a delegate to the North Carolina Youth Legislative Assembly. She found a love of politics in that experience and found herself saying over and over, I want to be involved. She has helped as a middle school assistant soccer coach. She has been a North Carolina House of Representatives page and she is a member of the Concord United Methodist Church Youth Council. I am confident that we're going to hear about this young lady in the years to come. I hope I'm around to vote for her when she runs for House of Representatives or Senate for the state of North Carolina. The first scholarship goes to Melissa Carver. The second scholarship goes to a young lady who has learned resilience and perseverance. And she learned those things from her grandmother. And that's not just words, it's illustrated in everything she does. Her coach wrote a recommendation for her saying, you never knew, know what life will throw at you, but she was always ready to catch whatever it happened to be. She was prepared and leaders have to be prepared. She knows the value of creating a bond with other people. She has exemplary character. She has attention to tell and she is not afraid to ask for help another characteristic that is important for leaders. Nobody knows everything. Asking for help is a pro, not a con. She has an uncanny ability to lead and has served as captain of the softball team at her school. She has the ability to talk to people that isn't talking at people. And she never asks anybody to do something that she is not also willing to do. This award goes to Peyton Pearsall. Hello, my name is Ronnie Peed. I'm uh, president of the Roxboro Optimist Club, and I'm here to present a scholarship. We present a thousand dollar scholarship to a, a worthy recipient every year. And uh, this time I would like to uh, present this scholarship to a person who uh, is uh, very active in school. Uh, she's uh, on a drill team, I understand, and uh, does a good job. And uh, she has a uh, 4.65 uh, 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 weighted uh, GPA and a 4.0 unweighted GP, uh, uh, GPA, and she uh, is uh, number two in her class, which is great, very smart. And so at this time, without further ado, I would like to present this scholarship to uh, Courtney Gentry, and she plans on attending ECU, which is the school I went to, so I'm very proud of her and uh, wish her the best of luck. Thank you. The Lauren Joy Chandler Beginning Teacher Scholarship is given in memory of Lauren Joy Chandler, daughter of Karen Butler Chandler. Lauren related to people of all ages and backgrounds and exhibited acceptance and compassion. 
Her desire to be of service to others was evidenced in endeavors of church, the volunteer fire department, and the community at large. She exemplified the best qualities of a successful educator as she interacted with other professionals and nurtured her students. Lauren's creativity and innate ability to inspire the best of others serve as a catalyst for the scholarship worth $500. This year's recipient was chosen because of their humility, compassion, and commitment to finding a teachable moment in each day. Congratulations, Alfie Chandler. My name is Derek Sims. I am the scholarship chairman for the Rossboro Elks 2005. On behalf of the Rossboro Elks Lodge, I am here today to present the William C. Bullock Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is given to a high school senior in Person County that has demonstrated strong academic accomplishments and needs financial assistance in furthering their education. This scholarship is a four-year scholarship. The recipient will receive $1,000 each year over the next four years of college. William C. Bullock was the owner of Bullock Lumber Company and was a longtime member of the Roxbury Elks Lodge. William served as president of the Roxbury Elks Lodge for many years and was president of the North Carolina Elks Association. William believed in giving back to the community. He believed in helping youth further their education. The Roxbury Elks Lodge established this memorial scholarship five years ago, and we are happy that we can continue this tradition today. It is my privilege to present this year's scholarship to Skylar Morris. Good afternoon, my name is Francello Bumpus and I'm the president of the Preston County Chapter of the Winston-Salem State University National Alumni Association. I'm here today to present a $600 scholarship to a graduating senior who plans on attending the Winston-Salem State University in the fall. This year's recipient is Ms. Ashley Sutter. Ashley, congratulations and welcome to the WSSU Ram family. Good evening, I'm Judy Bratcher. I'm a member of the Roxboro Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Incorporated in Person County. We're so excited this evening to present our Esther M. Harper Memorial Scholarship to Mr. William J. Bailey. It has been an awesome opportunity to be able to serve our community and serve the students of Person County with this award. It is our great honor to present this award to Mr. Bailey, who's an outstanding student at Person High School. Take care, Mr. Bailey, and enjoy your adventure as a Viking at Elizabeth City State University. My name is Pacoya Bailey, and I am representing the Roxborough Los Atoma Club, and we are presenting our $750 scholarship to Ashley Suttoth. And we congratulate her, and we wish her all the success as she moves on to the next chapter of her life. Thank you. My name is Pacoya Beatty. I am the Vice President of the Roxborough Reunion Scholarship Committee, and it is my honor to present four $500 scholarships on behalf of the committee. And they are William J. Bailey, Christopher B. Lipscomb, Caleb Long, and Jordan A. Thomas. We congratulate all of you. We wish you much success as you enter the next chapter of your life. Thank you. Good evening, my name is Robert Allen. I'm president of the Rotary Club of Roxboro, and it is my distinct honor this evening to present scholarship to two outstanding person high school seniors. The first scholarship, which is worth $2,000, goes to Miss Melissa Carver. Melissa is the daughter of Thomas and Elizabeth Carver, and she'll be attending Wake Forest University in the fall to study political science with a pre-law concentration. The second scholarship, also worth $2,000, goes to Miss Courtney Gentry, daughter of Kelly and Tessa Gentry. Courtney will be attending East Carolina University in the fall to study public health, and she'd one day like to become a physician's assistant. 
Again, it has been my distinct honor to present these scholarships to the, these two deserving person high school seniors. Thank you. In August of 2004, Rocky Carver, a local farmer and member of Person County Cattlemen's Association, was killed when he was struck by lightning. Shortly thereafter, the association established a scholarship in Rocky's memory, and the first Rocky Carver Memorial Scholarship was awarded in 2007 for the 2007-2008 school year. Since then, the association has been able to award a total of 36 scholarships, including the, one, the two that are being awarded today. This evening, the Person County Cattlemen's Association is very pleased to present $500 scholarships for the 2020-2021 school year to two very deserving Person High School seniors. The first recipient is Melissa Carver. The second recipient is Colby Sanders. Congratulations, Melissa and Colby. The association wishes you both much success as you further your education. Hi everyone, my name is Sarah Yarborough and I'm here representing the Person County Schools School Nutrition Association. This year's recipient not only excelled in his academics, he was a part of multiple school activities such as the National Honor Society and Cross Country. He also volunteered in the community with My Life Matters and multiple church mission trips. He has already been accepted to Elizabeth City State University with a major in aviation science. This year's recipient of the Person County Schools School Nutrition Association Scholarship is William Bailey. Good evening, my name is Karen Clayton from the Rottsboro Moose Family Center and I'm very excited. This is our first year to be able to present scholarships in Rottsboro to the seniors. Uh, we were able to do two at Person High School and also two at Rottsboro Community School. Uh, the Moose is a fraternal nonprofit organization providing for seniors, children and our community through many fundraisers and community service projects. Uh, the seniors were asked to write an essay with their application about community service and what it means to them and how they have displayed that in their community. Uh, this year, the recipients of the scholarship at Person High School are Courtney Gentry for a $500 scholarship. And also Cynthia Wood for a $250 scholarship. So again, we are so excited to be able to do this. Congratulations to all seniors, and we wish you all the best in your next steps. Today, we congratulate the Person High School Class of 2020. The Person High School Parents, Teachers, Student Organization's purpose is to be a forum for parents, teachers, and students to interact on a personal level that encourages discussion and creates a positive educational community that is beneficial not just to staff and families of Person High School, but to our Roxburgh community and beyond. Each year we sponsor scholarships for students that are members of Person High School PTSO. This year's list of candidates is an awesome group of young people. Academics were key, but what stood out the most was their service to others and how much they enjoyed helping others, both great qualities to have. This year, the PTSO is awarding five scholarships. Three scholarships in the amount of $225 are awarded to. The first recipient is Will Bailey. The second recipient is Alexandra Chapman. And the third recipient is Christopher Lipscomb. Two scholarships in the amount of $150 are awarded to. The first recipient is Courtney Gentry. And the second recipient is Colby Sanders.
Good evening. Uh, my name is Reggie Horton. I am with the American Legion uh, Post 138 here in Roxboro. Uh, I would like to take the opportunity to thank you uh, for allowing us to present the American Legion School Award. The recipient is chosen by the faculty and staff of the school. This year's recipient exhibits courage, honor, leadership, service, scholarship, and patriotism every day at Roxborough High School. Excuse me, Person High School. Um, the individual is a peer group connections leader, um, a North Carolina scholar, plays varsity basketball, and is a student council president. Following graduation, she will enlist in the National Guard uh, while attending UNC Greensboro to study kinesiology. She knows when to tackle uh, things on her own and when to humbly ask for help. She will receive a check from the American Legion uh, and a plaque with her name on it. The plaque will remain at the school and would like to say congratulations to Kaylee Clark. This is her plaque. My name is Sergeant Major Raymond Myers and I'm the JRDC instructor here at Person High School. I would like to personally congratulate all of the graduates of 2020 and I would like to take some time to congratulate those graduates who have decided to join the armed forces. Cadet, Cadet. India Burton has joined the Army Reserves. Cadet Amaya Carver has joined the Army Reserves. Cadet Joshua Oakley has joined the Army Active Component. Cadet Trenton Nelson has joined the Army Active Component. Cadet Jameer Johnson has joined the Army National Guard. Cadet Kaylee Clark has joined the Army National Guard. Cadet Terrence Thompson has joined the Army National Guard. And Cadet Angel Powell has joined the Army National Guard. The following students were awarded institutional merit scholarships based on the strength of their college applications. Robbie Bass. Nova Bosick. Matthew Bradshaw. Chadwick. Brooks, Nadia Kamen, Alexis Carter, Melissa Carver, Peyton Connor. Maya Edwards, Colton Fox, Aya Hairston, Michael Hall, Christopher Lipscomb. Abby Mayer, Matthew McCowan,
Jennifer Medina. Peyton Pearsall. Marcel Smith. And Sheila Williams. Thank you to all the community organizations that have sponsored scholarships and awards during this unusual school year. Your support of Person High School students is truly appreciated. To all watching, be on the lookout for spotlights on the Person High School Facebook and Instagram pages, celebrating any enlistment and awards that did not make it into this video. We hope to celebrate every 2020 graduate's accomplishments. The counselors, administration, faculty, and staff at Person High School are proud to celebrate the class of 2020. We wish you the best in all your future endeavors.